Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is part three of building these columns, and hope you guys enjoy. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Another thing we can do as we're disassembling this is uh, we'll label each column piece so we know where it goes. Uh, we got it all tore down. We've got everything labeled. This is what it looks like. We have A, B, C, D. And that correlates with A, B, C, D. And on the other side, we'll have one, two, three, four. And we have one, two, three, four. And when we sand and paint these, we'll just go around those and it won't it won't be that big of an issue because that'll be on the inside of everything where you won't be able to see it. What you doing there, babe? I'm painting the bottom base for the columns. I actually think I need to wood fill them. Yes. That was a step down it to do. Yeah. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and fill these screw holes where it's been connected the entire base. Um, we painted it last time. Uh, <laughs> FYI, that can happen, I guess. That's awesome. Um, using a wood filler. We didn't do it last time. It looked terrible. So it definitely needs to be filled this time and done correctly. So we're going to fill it, let it dry. Once it's dry, then we'll go ahead and paint um, the bottom bases on. But just press that in there and then just smooth it out a bit with your finger. This one I'm filling in the wood beside it that kind of broke a little bit when we screwed it in. So. You can always sand it off. It's not a big deal if you get too much. sanding I'm gonna be using the boss sander uh, I've used cheaper ones that were like hypertech and I used two of those within probably two weeks and for some reason this little the bearings inside this piece on that hypertech pretty much exploded uh, so I broke down I sand a lot I do a lot of outside stuff and so I went ahead and bought a pretty decent Bosch
right, I think we're all done here. They're pretty smooth. Uh, they'll be good enough for our column walls. And next up, we'll mix some paint and spray them. The direction on the paint says you cannot use uh, air gun with a compressor to spray this. I have found if you take and mix your paint right with a little bit of acetone, it'll go through your gun just fine. It may cause your gun to clog, clog up, but you should clean your gun every time after you use it anyway. Um, we'll be using Storm Coat Exterior Paint, uh, High Hide White, Acetone, uh, found at Ollie's, you can buy this stuff fairly cheap, a mixing container, strainers, and a Harbor Freight 998 uh, paint gun. When mixing, I'll use the ounces. I'll fill it up to 12 ounces with paint, and then I'll fill it up to two ounces of acetone. So it would be a total of 16 ounces, and that should give us uh, one quarter uh, acetone. And be sure to mix your paint before you do this. Just shake it. Uh, the strainer will still get some of it out, but it might not blend. Well, it won't blend the colors like it's supposed to. Uh, so make sure you shake your paint and stir it so you have an even, co even color coat. I'll take my popsicle stick, and give it a stir, and it's kind of got to be runny to go through a paint gun. That's any kind of paint to go through an air gun. So it's kind of dripping off. That's kind of what you're looking for, but it may look thin, but you'll get really good coverage out of it, and it takes a quarter of the time. Uh, to spray it versus rolling it or hand painting it. So we'll take opener paint gun, make sure it was clean from last time, which it is. Take our strainer. cap on and we'll go to the backyard and spray it. Okay, and you want to make sure when you use that air gun, and this is kind of automotive also, you want about 50% lap and overlap. You want to spread about eight to 12 inches. So we'll go ahead and spray these real quick. Everybody, that was our first coat. We're gonna go mix it some more paint, clean our nozzle head, and spray a second. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, coat number two, and we'll get it sprayed. Now we're just taking some thinner and putting it into our paint mixing bucket and taking our spray gun and taking all the little bits and pieces off of it and letting this thinner do some work so next time when we go to use it it'll be fresh and clean in these guns is this little plastic piece and that's what causes things to get gummed up so you can just take and wipe it off one good time and then throw it in your thinner. And that should 
help remove a bunch of the gunk that's built up on it. 